Hi, and welcome. I'm here with the wonderful Maureen Kelly, who I uh, would like to ask a few questions about to get to know her better and hear more about her work. Um, thanks for being here. <laughs> thanks for having me. Um, but could, so to get started, could you tell us about the artwork that's on display at the Palmer Museum this week? Well, um, I picked um, a, a, a variety of uh, things. I've got a couple of florals, uh, a couple of faces. I love to do people, faces, portraits, and some landscapes. So yeah, a variety of art. Um, well, yeah, it sounds like you have a really wide range of subjects. Um, could you tell us how you choose what you like to paint or collage or draw? Uh, all of the above. Um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, mostly just uh, uh, come up with ideas, you know, landscapes, you just have to look outside and see the beauty of Alaska and, and uh, you know, that you don't have to go far for beautiful landscapes here where we live. Um, but as for portraits, I do love to do portraits. Um, uh, I'm actually in the process of doing portraits of all my nieces and nephews. <laughs> So that's one of those uh, things. Um, yeah, and florals. Now here with the garden starting, um, I've got a, a picture of a delphinium, for example. My delphiniums are just beginning to bloom. And um, yeah, so I draw inspiration from both nature and um, just the life around me. Excellent. Yeah, it sounds like maybe uh, people you know are a really great inspiration. <laughs> Um, have you ever said you, uh, in your um, application for <laughs> Artist of the Week that you studied art in college? Did you learn a lot about drawing from life there? Did they? I did. Actually, when I was 15, I lived in Chicago. I grew up there and uh, I took a life drawing class at the Art Institute and I was hooked um, ever since. When I went to college, I studied art. Um, it was a minor. It wasn't my major degree, but... Um, but still I did a lot of art classes and I have continued throughout the years to just um, work for many, many years. I was just watercolor. I uh, probably 30 years just being, uh, you know, involved with loving watercolor and all of its um, beauty. And oh, about three or four years ago, I realized it was time to branch out after all these years of studying one medium. I decided it was time for oils and acrylics and collage and, <laughs> and such. And so I have, I, I dove into those as well. So now I'm, I'm doing a lot of different mediums and having a lot of fun playing with those mediums, uh, well, enjoying just creating <laughs> with all mediums, I guess. Sure. Yeah, it's funny. We just talked to um, Allie Harvey about her work, and she really loves acrylics, but she's branching out into watercolors, and she said they're just <laughs> so fickle and difficult sometimes. She had a lot of respect for anyone that works in watercolor. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's fun. Each medium has its own um, beauty and, and, and its difficulties as well, and it's fun working through some of those and discovering. That's what it's all about, uh, as you create, discovering as you create. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that helps keep it interesting year after year. If you get stuck on something, you can always find a new <laughs> way to express it. Oh my gosh, it. yeah. I, uh, I actually uh, recently went, uh, pulled out a, an old uh, uh, folder and found artwork from 30 years ago. And I'm, I looked at it and went, oh, time for a rework and <laughs> I just started ripping and tearing and repainting and creating new works from old works from years and years ago and it was really cathartic if you will it was really fun to take these old works from another time in my life and turn them into new works from this time it was fun <laughs> oh how do you think that they what was the biggest thing that um that stood out as far as how you've changed as an artist Oh, um, well, I've, I've become a better draftsman over the years. I, I, I feel I draw better now. I, I sh I'm able to, uh, it, it's not, I mean, yeah. I'm able to draw um, what I'm seeing better than I did 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah, like some, a lot of technical growth. 
Oh. Exactly. I guess that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it sounds like the same things have been interesting, just a, just a different way of expressing them on on the paper or canvas. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, since you've mentioned it, um, you were not an art major in college. You studied library. Well, studies. I studied English, and um, I actually got my uh, degree in library and information studies. And so I've been a librarian for many, many years. And now as a retired librarian, I have more time to devote to my art. I have um, a lovely art studio that my husband built me which I'm sitting in right now. And, and it makes such a difference to have your own art studio where you can just put out all your paints and, and canvases and not have to clean everything up um, every single time. If, for example, some people have to work on their kitchen table and put it all away before dinner, which is not my situation, thank goodness. But um, yeah, however you can create. Create however you can, whenever you can. Uh, but lucky for me, I have a, a place where I can go. It's my, my room to myself, if you will, <laughs> room for <Yeah>. myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you also mentioned that you meet with um, lots of other painting groups. What kinds of uh, places? Well, actually, I do, oh, I do like online um, uh, painting uh, classes. And so I've taken quite a few of those. In fact, there's one that's going to be beginning on June 30th. It's a, uh, acrylic florals, learning to do big florals and acrylics, which I'm looking forward to. But I also meet with groups here in, one specific group actually, here in Palmer. Um, it's uh, on a bit of a hiatus now, of course, with COVID, but up until that time we did art journaling every Sunday and I love uh, just the beauty of art journaling of um, uh, the immediacy of it and uh, uh, the privacy of it too it's nothing that you're doing to to show anyone or to sell to anyone you're you're doing it for your own self you're creating for yourself and it's um it was just uh, it's, it's a fun group uh, of about seven or eight of us that get together on Sundays and create in our art journals which is also fun. I'm looking forward to it resuming when we're able to after the this crazy virus passes away sure. soon. <laughs> yeah, did you have a, a strong sketchbook practice before meeting with that group or? You know, it's funny, I, I uh, hadn't thought so and then I went, um, what happened was uh, I had a uh, moved from one house to another and everything went into storage and once this art studio was built I began pulling things out from the closets and under the beds and out in the garage and and I came to find I had more sketchbooks than I realized <laughs> and it was fun to go back through things that I had done way back in the 80s for example <laughs> and go oh my goodness I forgot all about these about being interested in this facet of, you know, of, you know, it's funny as you grow as an artist, when you go back in time to see your earlier works and where you were at and what you were interested in. And so it's interesting to see how you've grown. So yeah, I had more sketchbooks than I thought. <laughs> yeah, were there um, any particular mentors or influences that you felt like were really special? Um, I, I'm absolutely going to just say um, uh, different artists through the ages. You know, you get on to things like Klimt or, um, or Matisse, you know, uh, the masters, if you will. For example, um, I don't know, have you ever heard of Flaming June? This was my attempt here, Flaming June, there she is. Flaming June in Alaska. Um, of course, he, uh, oh, oh gosh. Now that I've shown you Flaming June, who, what was the name of the artist who created her? It, it escapes me. Sir Frederick someone. It's in, uh, it, it, I believe it's in Puerto Rico right now, the original Flaming June. But um, studying old masters is a wonderful way to hone your technique. Um, so I found many different artists whose styles I wanted to learn from, if you will. Mm -hmm. But no one in particular. I, I can't say that. Maybe, um, yeah, no. Maybe the Art Deco um, things. I did, I did go through a, a major Art Deco phase at one point. <laughs> but yeah, 
so many different uh, influences over the many, many years of your life for everyone. I mean, your mu the music that you listen to, the art that you, that you look at, the, the, just everything that happens in your life makes you who you are. And, and that's why when you create art, you're creating a unique piece. Every single person creates uniquely because they are unique. They're that person. <laughs> Oh, no yeah. one will ever create art like you, ever. Yeah, sure. I mean, we all have experiences that come from where we where we've been, where we're going. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, and that's what's the beauty of seeing different artists work. So many different styles and ways of expressing that of who they are and where they've been and where they're going, that kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, second to last question. Uh, could you tell us about the Valley Fine Arts Association? Ah, the Valley Fine Arts Association, yeah. Um, we have uh, quite an active group and um, we had prior to COVID been meeting uh, once a month at the college and we had arranged uh, times to meet at the library in Palmer. Um, we were actually quite active and every um, September there is a, a retreat um, uh, out to Willow Fishhook. Uh, unfortunately, that's been canceled this year, as have all of our, our monthly meetings and get togethers. Um, but still, we have an active uh, a Facebook group. If anybody's interested in learning more about um, the uh, Valley Arts, they can go on to our page at the, on Facebook and, and see what's going on there. And uh, yeah, we're in a bit of a hiatus at the moment, as are many groups. But I'm sure when all this is over, we'll be coming back just as strong as ever. We have quite a, a large following here in the Valley and also in We'll put a link to that in the notes for the video so people can go and find them. <laughs> um, and speaking of reaching out online, since we're doing social, social distancing, uh, how can folks get a hold of you if they're interested in the work that they see at the museum? Oh, you know, um, that is something I have been meaning to do, and that is create an artist page <laughs> and a web page. Um, it's not my forte. I, I, my forte is painting and, and doing all these other fun things and creating a web page is not something I've, I mean, I've been meaning to do, but haven't yet done. So um, perhaps if they just, uh, I'm not sure if we, are people, are people able to come into the museum yet? I know for a while they weren't. If they wanted to, this next week I'll be there on Friday if they're at the Friday Fling and they can come into the museum. I'm not sure how all these things have, do you know? Yeah, I think I think folks can come into the museum for the hours okay. that they have. And then um, we'll also maybe mention your Instagram account if they want to. Oh, I do have an Instagram. I forgot all about that. I did make an Instagram. <laughs> but <laughs> I have yet to finish up making my web page and my artist page and all that. But uh, if anybody really wants to meet me, if they happen to be out and about at the Friday Fling this coming Friday, I'll be at the museum. Oh, I believe good. from, I'm not sure the time, I'll double check it. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> well, is, is there anything else that you'd like to share with folks that might be interested? Um, you know, I, uh, I think uh, not at this very moment. If I think of things, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I do put uh, I'll, I do put out the um, uh, news for the Valley Fine Arts Association into the People's Paper, um, and so if uh, yeah, I'll be. Uh, if there's any big news, I'll be mentioning it there. I do have a show coming up at um, the brewery, the Matanuska Brewery on the Palmer Wessilla Highway um, for the month of July. So that'll be my next big show after the uh, museum show. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll look forward to it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And we'll have lots of little notes in this video on uh, Facebook for folks to check out and look forward to seeing more of your work. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been a, a pleasure to um, sit and chat with you for a little bit. Thank you. Thank you.